It's your boy Crypto Million back with another one. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my favorite blue chip projects. But family, before we get into that, we got to talk about Gary Gensler. Yes, Mr. Burns himself rugging the entire cryptocurrency space. So if you don't know, hours ago, there was a huge post on the SEC official page on Twitter saying that the ETFs were approved. And so many people, some of the biggest websites were all posting about this ETF approval. Five minutes later, Gary Gensler comes out and says that the SEC website was compromised or hacked and that they actually had not approved the Bitcoin ETFs. So there's been a lot of speculation, right? Some people feel like it was a PSYOP. Some people feel like it was an inside job. Some people feel like uh, the person was supposed to schedule the post and they accidentally posted it. I want to know everybody's opinions in the comments. Also, make sure that you like, subscribe, consider the free Discord. It's a growing decentralized community. And also, family, if you're into small cap gems, airdrop farming, and passive income plays, consider the Patreon. But let's get into some of my favorite blue chip projects, why I like these projects and why I feel like they can explode in the up and coming Bitcoin uh, psych, uh, crypto cycle. This was crazy, right? Oh, my God, man. Gary, what is you on, bro? All right, so Telos. I'm very, very bullish on Telos. It's my chain of choice, right? You can see some of the things that they're working on as far as future. They're adding satellite ZK EVM chains. What, what are we talking about? Creating liquidity, more liquidity pools here for Telos. Monolithic scaling. This project, in my opinion, will be a future giga giant family they're doing some things with gaming they have all the you know all the key buzzwords you want to hear they're omni chain interoperability uh, a zk evm gaming so they got everything right and the only thing that we're waiting for is for these developments to actually happen on chain which there already are where you can see these projects um, being created and creating a lot of hype within the Telos ecosystem. You can see within the last month, family, we are up a whopping 86% on a month. And in the midst of a lot of red in the market, Telos seems to be one of the strongest projects in the entire cryptocurrency space sitting here at a 64 million dollar market cap this is a og so i feel like this project is extremely valued but looking at the chart you can see here it finally put in a reversal and now in my opinion sky's the limit with this project it's faster than solana no downtime since inception scalable omni chain and has one of the most bullish teams in the space what the uh, uh new improved right team member mr john coming over here from polygon network and all of that success they had over here rumor is he's a billionaire right oh my god hey yeah and he hasn't been compensated in telos or anything he just generally believes in the project so bullish on the team bullish on the utility bullish on the community the community has been amazing since we started talking about this project I think this project is primed to run to a one billion dollar market cap. Um, you know, hey, if you're looking for the next Solana, look for, look no further, right? Uh, the next project I want to talk about is Jasmine Coin. Now this is switching it up a little bit, all right? Because Jasmine Coin falls into that whole data storage. I feel like there's potential here with Jasmine Coin because of thriving community. The fact that it fell from the depths of hell. But 99% of the supply is now in circulation. The max supply is 50 billion. And to put that into perspective, we've seen some projects like XRP H bar hit anywhere from 50 cents to $3. So when you look at the utility use case, the fact that Jasmine has a thriving project to secure PCs, I think because of the community and the social engagement that this project, once the price starts showing you know what I mean? Appreciation. You can see some of that hype coming back to the Jasmine coin. In fact, when you've seen it pumping within the last month, there was a lot of hype. In fact, though, like we actually got to go back a little bit further. You know, it's actually been falling. But you can see right here um, on the year, we've seen that massive rise to almost two zero. What? At one point, 2072 on December 25th. Wow, I didn't even know it got that far. So it got all the way up to 2072. I told you guys one time, two times. I made a video and said that we could potentially get rejected here. And again, we did get rejected at the 270 again, man. Come on, Jasmine. You got to stop getting rejected there. Uh, data uh, storage, uh, allowing you to monetize your data. 
um, store your data. Um, with the growth of AI and IoT, I can see where there's a need in utility. And again, when you look at the team, some of the ex-members of Sony also sit at this table. And I think that this project has massive potential. I think it'll do good because of the social engagement and per se the community. They got to get out the innovation zone. They got to be more clear clear on what the things that they're working on delivering. Uh, I haven't heard much about the Jasmine chain in a while. Haven't heard much about the lockup. And that's something that we should be getting hyped up for because we're getting real close to the time that they said that they were could potentially lock up the token. So a lot of uncertainty, but once these the, the you know the the um the team get the sugar honey iced tea together, I think that this project could show off the potential that deep down has you know what i mean next project i want to talk about is crypto.com now i am very very bullish bullish on crypto.com right i talk about how this project you know they're doing a lot for passive income if you look at some of the projects in the ecosystem of chronos you know they, they've been doing a lot and i ask everybody inside the comments just so i know you watch the video to the end um as far as meme coins utilities what chain do you think is the best right what do you like? Where do you like to buy your meme coins? Where do you like to buy your utility tokens? Do you like BNB, ETH, Krona, Solana, AVAX, Filecoin? It's so many different chains now. You can actually so uh, ICP. What bit rock? You know, what is your favorite, your chain of choice to shop for your meme coins and utilities? I love to know everybody's opinions in the comments. But again, I'm doing a lot of airdrop farming here with the uh, crypto.com. Um, ecosystem very very seamless integration when um sh you know sending my tokens off really really like the easy 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 interface i think that this crypto currency will grow especially in the states being accepted um throughout the world because of compliance um regulation um i mean getting these licenses on every every country chris has really been building throughout the bear market they're getting into gaming you feel me? Uh, NFTs. You already know they got the NFTs. Uh, they got lending and borrowing protocols like Tectonic. They got meme coins almost at a $1 billion market cap like Core GAI um, and partnered with some of the best cryptocurrencies throughout the space. So I think Kronos is one of the top three chains as far as centralized exchanges in the space. And I think it only can grow from here. Where you look at some of the things that they've built throughout the bear market, they got the uh, Staples Center. They bought that for the last next 20 years. I mean, one of the greatest players of all time plays at Crypto.com Arena. The marketing is there. The, the arena, uh, the awareness is there. The team is there. The founder is Docs, right? They got projects that offer a lot of passive income, family, and they have a very, very easy um, user interface for any newbie that comes into crypto.com. So salute to all my crow family. I think that this project will do well in the bull cycle. It's not going to do anything crazy, you know what I mean? Because it's already sitting at billions of dollars. But if you got a nice little stack and you want a less volatility, I would look at something like crypto.com. OG blue chip, I think it does well. The next project I want to talk about is Hedera family. I think if the BlackRock ETF and all of these ETFs get approved, it's going to benefit Adara because you think about the um, the Governance Council. Um, I did a video a while back, man. You probably got to you know go through my channel to actually find it. When I when I, when I was talking about how I actually broke down all of the businesses that BlackRock are invested into or hold some type of stake in, and most of them sit at the Hedera. A council, right? You know what I mean? Um, we did the video where we talked about how BlackRock has invested into Google, App, and, you know, so many Apple, all you know what I'm saying? And they still got what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spots left at the at the table of you know elites. BlackRock actually invested into a lot of these projects that already sit at their table. So once the ETF gets approved, a project like this that already has the grace from the uh, web two industries um, from the tech giga giants like Dell, you know, um, man, uh, Boeing, you know what I mean? Like UCL, Google, being some of the biggest tech giants sit at the Hedera Council. So we're talking about BlackRock, trillions of dollars, right? Um, getting the approval of 
compliance from something like the SEC through an ETF would benefit a project like this that has a lot of those companies that BlackRock invests into sitting at the table. So with that being said, I think Hedera is primed to do well. I think it's a sleeping giant. I think it's one of those chains that have yet to run yet. But when you see this project run, it's probably going to run fast. In fact, I think the um, level you would want to see this thing break is like 10 cent once it breaks 10 cent there's really nothing stopping it from getting to 20 cent and above so you know once Hedera really breaks 10 cent and turns 10 cent into support i think it's gonna fly they got meme coins they got swaps they got wallets they got rwa narrative they're working on things with gaming Hedera is what as they would say Hello Future, right? So one of my favorite blue chip projects. Again, these projects don't have as much volatility as the small cap gems. So if you're playing with a nice little bag or if you just want to do some casual um, investing, not advice, of course, you know, I would go with some blue chips where you don't have to worry about getting rugged because you know how crypto is, man. You ain't got to worry about checking if the contract renounced and doing all the stuff we do with small caps. You could just park your money and chill. Last but not least, I want to talk about ICP. Now, I could have went anywhere with this. I could have went with a meme coin, maybe a gaming token. But a lot of these chains cover some of all of the narratives. They got meme coins on it. They got gaming projects on the way. ICP is the unique uh, tech in the industry where everything is literally built on chain without using a AWS cloud. So if you build a website, it's built on chain through ICP. You build a game, you build a website. Everything is built on chain. You, know, you get gamble on chain their meme coin right so icp if you truly want a decentralized web a decentralized internet right that's truly decentralized right icp is the tech of the future right they were rugged by sbf but nobody denied the utility the use case or the tech that's always been something people raved about they just wanted to know that this project <laughs> wasn't going to like you know mint new tokens because they have unlimited supply so i mean this thing at one point was like what 400 bucks it was like something crazy 428 bucks will it get there maybe not but hey if it gets back to 200 dollars, you know half of that 400 that's still some pretty good gains it's already north of a billion so we don't expect it to do anything crazy as far as x's but again i think icp because of the beautiful technology because it's rare one in one and it's not anything like it it's going to do well in the next crypto cycle. So those are some of my favorite blue chips. Um, God, I could have said God, I could have said AGIX if you want to get into gaming. Um, Robit is another one if you want to talk about GambleFi. Just some honorable mentions that fall under those narratives. Um, Order knows if you want to talk about BRC20. Um, but those are just some of my favorite narratives. Um, you got some uh, uh, RWA projects out there like Maker, Frax. You know, some pretty good um, RWA. Even Hedera is falls under the tokenization of RWA. But don't sleep on blue chips. That's the moral of this video. Don't sleep on blue chips and don't sleep on Mr. Burns. It's Mr. Burns, man. What are y'all? It hurt my heart. I said, man, I'm not doing no more crypto videos today. And here I am doing a crypto video. So y'all let me know what y'all think about my blue chips. I like AVAX too. I let me I want to make that clear. Like when you go look at the games that's about to come in the AVAX ecosystem, you cannot ignore AVAX. So I want to make that clear. I am bullish on AVAX. Um y'all let me know what y'all favorite blue chips are. If, if I left out anything, let me know in the comments and let me know how you feel about the fake ETF news. It's your boy Crypto Millie. I'll see you in the next one.